So it says draw the major organic product form in the following reaction. So I'm assuming this is the reaction here and they drew it out. So let's, let's work out this problem first before we, I have the answer there, but I'm, let me just work out this problem and, um, and kind of explain what they're doing here. So let me uh, draw this out. So I have benzene, I have a methyl group here, and then I have some sort of, uh, this is a ketone. Oh, double bond O, and then I have something like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to react it with Br2 and acetic acid, CH3COH, right? And then what am I going to get? Again, one mole reactant, one mole Br2, right? So what the reaction story geometry. So it says here, uh, so we have here, this is a, a treatment of a carbonyl, right? Our aldehyde keto with one mole brom bromine in the presence of acetic acid gives us an alpha halo aldehyde or ketone right so again here what it's going to do is going to add to add it to um add to this aldehyde add to the, sorry this is uh this is the ketones here it's going to add to this ketone here so how, how so how do we do this so again think, take a moment to think about this problem how does that how uh, like how is this a correct answer like do they have a bromine how does it randomly just stick on top uh onto uh this um structure here so let's think about that for a sec and then um let's uh let's let's reconvene about a minute and take a take a moment to think about this structure here so it, this is a um this here is a uh alpha halo aldehyde so what is this so what does that mean here so let me uh let me, let me take a drink of water and then you can kind of look at the solution here and if you need help you can always look at look at this solution so what is it doing here how does this uh, how does this work? So let me, uh, let me let me let me draw out the H's here. So let me draw out an H here. That might help you. And let me draw out the charges for you. So again, this here is a negatively charged thing. This here is a negative charge, and this here is a positive charge. And again, this uh, which means uh, this here is the oxygen. Again, it's electronegative, so it has a dipole of negative here. Uh, this here is a part, which means hyd uh, hydrogen here is a partial positive, right? Partial positive. So what am I doing? How does this work? How does this work? Sorry. So how does this work? What we're going to do is we are going to we have this um this uh this this negatively charged uh type of uh type of thing here, right? What it's going to do? It's actually going to react with it itself. So let me uh let me um let me let me let me redraw the benzene here. Oh, actually, let me let me just draw the ketone here. Uh, I'm going to say this is the R group, and the R group is just this uh this methyl benzene we have here. We have this is O. This is an H here, right? So again, what it's going to do, it's actually, and again, this is partial negative. This is partial positive, right? Partial positive. So again, what it's going to do is, again, I have this negatively charged here. What it's going to do is actually going to, um, it's going to travel here to this uh, this hydrogen, and it's going to then kick out uh, one of these bonds here. So which means I'm going to get something like this, firstly. So I'm, I'm going to get the R group. So let me get the... Uh, I'll have the I'll have the R group here. Uh, the R group is just the benzene. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what uh, this is. But I'm going to have a single bond OH here, and then uh, it's going to have. I'm going to maintain uh, this this and this will be this will have a double bond here, right? It's just going to kick out. It's just going to protonate uh, this. Uh, th it's going to kick out this double bond here, and then I'm going to create an alkene instead of carbonyl, and I have a hydroxyl. Right? Again, this is a ketone enol. It's an enol now, right? It's a ketone. Again, if we have aldehyde and ketone, I think we have we can uh, we can do something called it's an enol enolate reaction, right? This is a uh, en e this is a uh, alpha helo uh, enol uh, aldehyde ketone addition, but we're using an, an enol to do that as well. So basically, after that point, we know that this is electron rich, right? Um, so what it's going to do is going to actually let me let me redraw the bromine here. This here is a, and it's negative, right? So this, this here is Br and Br, right? So what it's going to do, again, this oxygen uh, has this negatively charged here. 
So what it's going to do is going to then uh, collapse on itself. It's going to kick the double bond away. And it's going to then, um, this bromine here is going to come and attach to this double bond here. So what, what I get here is I get something, I get an addition reaction, right? I get something like this. I get R and then I get here, it's the double bond O. I recreate my double bond because this is, it's the double bond is going to get, uh, uh, it, the oxygen is going to make two bonds to make it stable. And then I get the bond here and then bromine is going to come over here, right? Which means I get the bromine. Uh, bromine like so so I get a bromine like this so that's that's basically the mechanism for in uh, this is an alpha halo aldehyde or uh, reaction here so basically for this reaction here if I you impl impl imply if I do this exact same thing what I'm gonna get is I'm gonna this R group just is just this benzene group right so the product is going to be uh, basically what you see on the right screen so I'm gonna let me erase this here I'm going to get uh, first I'm going to get uh, this enol here, so this is an OH, and I get a um, a double bond here, and then this BR is going to come, or sorry, this negative here is going to collapse on itself, and then the bromine. I'm going to redraw the bromine. Uh, sorry, I'm going to redraw the bromine here. The bromine in black. Sorry, the bromine bond bromine. This is going to be here, and then it's going to uh, which, sorry, this here is going to leave, sorry, this here is going to go this way. The double bond is going to attack this bromine and it's going to kick out the bromine, right? So it's, uh, the, so I'm going to get here my uh, alpha halo uh, aldehyde here. So this is one, two, three, sorry. And then I have here uh, one, I think get back my uh, ketone here and then it's gonna bond BR. So exactly the same. That's what we did. Uh, so this is a great, uh, the great solution. Again, it's this is my solution here using a, uh, this is a uh, uh, using a, an enol as an intermediate. So this is correct here. It's a great solution. Solution. Uh, uh, I wish there was a, I wish there was a mechanism showing the enol intermediate. Um, using the enol intermediate, but that's that's about it. Meant to uh, to produce a alpha, a alpha halo. Uh, in this case, it's ketone. Nice, sweet, great solution. Solution's correct.